Okay, so now we are going to look at the space-time trade-off between breadth-first search and depth-first search. Okay, so uh, given a K array tree, a K array tree is a tree width where each uh, node, intermediate node, has um, K children. Okay, so <clears throat> and um, now, here actually it's a K array tree I, I wanted to show, but uh, due to lack of space, I didn't show the children for these nodes, okay? So now, if I want to do a depth first search for um, this tree, here you have each node, uh, intermediate node, having three children, okay? So it's actually a three array or um, uh, also called a ternary tree, right? Now, if I want to search for any node, uh, how many um, um, nodes will end up being in the uh, stack for depth first search? Okay, so we're doing depth first search now. So, <clears throat> now if I start my depth first search uh, with the root node 1, and I go to the leftmost child, so I push one into the stack, and then I push two into the stack, and then I push three into the stack, and then I push four into the stack, right? Then I pop out four, go to three, and then push seven into the stack. Then I pop out seven, go back to three, and push eight into the stack, right? And then I pop out eight, go back to three, and then I will... Uh, go back to for pop out 3 and then go back to 2 and push 5 into the stack and then if 5 has children it, I will push 5's children and so on right so at any time you see that the uh, like when you had 1 2 3 4 when you go from uh, root 1 to the leaf node 4 there are only 4 vertices in the stack right this is because the depth of this tree is what uh, you can say its depth is going to be 3, uh, right? So this is of depth 1, this is of depth 2, this is of depth 3. So the depth of this tree is uh, 3, right? So the number of vertices in the stack is at most d plus 1 which is theta of d right so the number of vertices in the stack is theta of d and this is this will be the case irrespective of the number of children per node so you could have a 5 array tree or you could have a 10 array tree any number of children per node what matters is the depth of the tree right so uh, you start from a root node, go all the way deep to the leaf node. So it doesn't matter how many children each node has. Uh, you go all the way deep and then backtrack, pop out, and then pop in, uh, push in the next vertex and so on. So uh, irrespective of the number of children per node, the number of vertices that end up staying in the stack, if you do a depth first search, is going to be d plus 1, so it is theta of d. On the other hand, when we do a breadth first search, when we do a breadth first search on this, uh, so if I do that, it's going to be so I'll push one into the stack, then its children. 2, 9, 10 will be pushed into the stack and then we'll visit 2's children which are 3, 5 and 6 so uh, 3, 5 and 6 will be pushed into the stack and then we will visit 9's children so that will lead to uh, 11, 12 and 13 pushed into the stack and then we'll go to 10's children and we'll push 14, 15 and 16 into the stack now you see if you just look at uh, the um, k tree up to this point, right? 
if you want to visit or uh, test uh, 16 right you will end up having all the leaf nodes 3 5 6 11 12 13 14 15 16 in your queue okay so if you have uh, a k area tree of depth d the number of leaf nodes at depth d is given by k rise to d all right so these are the number of leaf nodes in a k array tree of depth d so this is um, tree array tree uh, this is each node has three children right so uh, this is three array tree of depth 2 so that's why we have nine leaf nodes right so in general if you have a k array tree of depth d the number of leaf nodes is k rise to d so that many vertices will end up being in your queue so that is theta of k rise to d whereas we saw that when we do a depth first search it is actually theta of d vertices that end up being in your stack right so that is a space uh, trade-off okay so now let's look at the time trade-off so which means from a space point of view depth first search is going to be better whereas breadth first search is more space consuming right now when you look at from um, time complexity point of view if you want to search using depth first search right so let's say you want to search for 10 if you if you use depth first search it start at 1 go to the leftmost child 2 and then 3 4 right then backtrack and visit 7 and then backtrack and visit 8 and then go and visit 5 and then its children and so on so you will never visit 10 until you finish visiting all the nodes in the subtree rooted at 2 all the nodes in the subtree rooted at 9 so you'll visit 10 only after you're done with these two subtrees in full right so that will take enormous amount of time okay on the other hand if you do a breadth first search you'll start at 1 go to 2 9 10 and then go to 3 5 6 and so on right so you visit vertices in the increasing order of depth in the sense that you first visit all the vertices in level 0 the root node and then all vertices in depth 1 or level 1 and then all vertices in level 2 and then all vertices in level 3 and so on so you will never visit a vertex that is in a lower level before visiting a vertex that is in a higher level so in this in the sense that you will never visit um, 16 before visiting 10 right but in, in the case of depth first search you visited 4 before visiting 10 so this means on average breadth first search will um, help you to search and look for a vertex more quickly compared to depth first search all right so at the worst case if you're visiting for the rightmost leaf node right the number of nodes uh, in a in a k array tree of depth d is actually k rise to d plus one. So uh, at the worst case, both will take the same amount of time because if you do a depth first search, you'll visit all these uh, vertices, all these vertices, and then all these vertices, and so on. So finally, only you'll end up with this. And same thing with depth first search, you'll backtrack, backtrack, and then come to this vertex. But the point is that is the worst case, right? But on average. If you do some experimentation also you'll find out that breadth first search can visit a vertex more quickly compared to depth first search right so that is the time complexity point of view so from a space point of view breadth first search let me write it up here so from a space complexity point of view breadth first search is more expensive compared to depth first search depth first search requires only d theta of d space respective of the number of children per node okay uh, from a time complexity point of view breadth first search is more efficient 
because uh, it uh, we will set a web text at a um, lower level that is uh, closer to the root first before visiting web text that is at a closer to the root means you can even say higher um, yeah closer to the root right so that's a lower level that is at um, higher level that is far away from the root okay so how you define the level so a uh, vertex at depth d minus one is visited first before visiting vertex at depth d whereas with uh, depth first search what happens a vertex at um, a lower level may not be visited before visiting all the vertices uh, one or more vertices Right, so on average, depth first search is more time consuming than even though depth first search requires less space. All right. So on average, depth first search is more time consuming than breadth first search, even though DFS requires much less space. Okay. Then BFS.